It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. It is universally acknowledged no single man in a possession of large fortune is not in want of a wife. You certainly will agree, however, that their way of obtaining those wives is somewhat flawed. Why, not long ago, I heard a gentleman describe what he thought was an accomplished woman. Can you guess what he said? Pray do tell. He said a woman must have a thorough knowledge of music, singing, dancing, all the modern languages. And besides all this, she must possess a certain something in her air uh, and manner of walking. Astonishing. The tone of her voice, her address and expressions. Indeed. If a gentleman comes into marriage choosing his partner solely on such superficial qualities and he is not taking into account whether or not there is indeed deepest affection, the marriage is bound to fail. The number one cause of failed marriages is finances. Now indeed there may be some other issues such as not being able to produce an heir or undesirable family connections but 75% of the cases it is about finances. Surely you must agree however that where there is love all such circumstances can be overcome. You know my opinion on the matter. Indeed. Uh, love is absolutely not necessary for a successful marriage. It can, however, be developed consciously by both parties. What do you think encourages affection? Dancing? Lo and behold, this one might surprise you. As it turns out, 68% of marriages that were on the brink of collapse were saved by having a renowned patroness. 68% having a patron can not only solve your financial woes, you also get valuable guidance, you save up on dinners, and in case there are some tensions between the spouses, wow. one of them is always a way to assist the patron. That is why you should get yourself a man who is shy and reserved, for if he doesn't talk much, <laughs> there shall be no quarreling. That I cannot argue with. <laughs>